Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain how you can set up Google Chat API node in Anytime. So yesterday I got to know about this question that been asked on Anytime community platform and here Marisol asked that she have added the node, successfully added the authentication tokens etc but still she is getting this such kind of error. I get into the details of it, I asked her to is she enabled the API she confirmed that she enabled the api but there was some kind of a different error which is going on so i haven't set up this before but i dived deep into this and found out the exact way to authenticate the google chat api so i'm going to explain the exact same thing how you can enable an attempt to connect with your google chat api so let's get started so in order to work with this video i have divided the video in seven simple steps now step one is to google chat api node in any time so we'll go over here select google chat we'll have this google chat api i'm going to add any of this node so for example i'm going to create a message so now what we have to do is we have to go and create a new credential now you now here you will see two options one is oauth2 and the another one is service account but for using the google chat api we need to use the service account and the reason behind this is if i'll open the documentation over here and if i'll show you that specifically and have and have mentioned about this this is one table like for google chat the auth does not work and for google chat we have to use this service account so in order to make it work but i have to do instead of auth 2 we have to create the service account so now in our next step we are going to understand how we can create the service account so in order to make it work we have to go to the google cloud console project and have to create our credentials now there's one more thing which i want to point out over here is that while working with the google chat api you must have to be the member of workspace means the normal users with the at the red gmail id cannot use the google chat api it is only applicable and available for the people who are the work email and are in the workspace so let us now discuss how we can create the google cloud console so here i am now in my google cloud console i have logged in with my work mail and i have the access to the workspace so now we just first have to, have to create a new project i'll name it google chat and let us just create a new project in a few minutes we are going to see the google chat app is created we have to select this project now the next step over here is we have to go and we have to set up this cloud console project so let us come back to this now step two is that you have to go to this api and services go to enable api services and we have to now click on enable api and services and search for google chat api so i'm going google chat api click on the google chat api and we just simply have to enable this once it get enabled we have to go and click on the manage api so now we can just see that it is created so as we already discussed in order to work with this we have to create credential and for that the credential needs to be a service account and for this use case i'm not going to use the oauth right it's according to the authentication so i'm going to choose the credentials option create a credentials and select the service account now it will take us to the service account name so i'm going to tell this i'm just setting up this my name and i think create and continue and other things are option so we'll don't do anything over here and i'll click on done so now in few seconds we'll able to see the service account get ready for us to work with so let me just refresh this yeah so now we are able to see the service account over here now we have successfully created the service account now the next step is to go and create the credentials that we can add to our anytime interface so i have clicked on the service account that i have created now i'm going to go to the keys and i have to generate a new key create a new key and click on json and over here you have to click on create once it is created it is going to be downloaded in your device and you'll see this json like this no need to worry about anything you just see these two things one is private key and the client email so you, what you have to do is you can simply copy the email first 
So I'm going to copy this. You have to go back to your NITN and paste this service email over here. Now the second part we have to do is copy the private key. I'll go back and select this full key. Copy this. Go back to NITN. Paste over here. And now we'll just save this. So now what it will do is like it just totally get hang on this testing screen and we'll not able to do anything else. I have experienced the same thing. So I believe that you will see the same thing. So now I'm not going to do anything. We just have to go over here. Now the error which we Marisol was talking about on the community forum is like this that we are not able to actually choose anything over here and it is giving the error. So if I'll just save this and even I refresh the Google chat API, sorry, even if I refresh the NITN instance, I'll able to see the error. So the next step is to just solve this error in a right way. So you, now you can see this, even we are still getting this error. So now let's resolve this error. In order to resolve the error, first of all, we have to go back to the API and service section and go to enable API and services. Now before going forward, I just need to give the walk you through the steps that we have taken so far. We have added the Google chat API node created the Google Cloud Console project, created the service account and the credentials, and also added the credentials to NITN. Now it's time to configure the Google Chat API in the Cloud Console. And for that, we are heads towards this API section. Now scroll down a bit and just choose the Google Chat API. Now it will directly takes us to the manage section of that chat API. So now in order to make it work, if we'll see the details, that we get from the community forum like what error she is getting there's one thing called that to turn on the google chat api you have to enable this so yeah because in our case it's already enabled but the main is over here to learn about creating the google chat visit this documentation and the problem over here is that we have set up the api but we don't have any application to that we can use to connect with our google chat app Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to come back to the Google Cloud Console, go to the configuration section. Now here we are actually going to do some configuration in order to make these things work. So you will see now the major part is that now here we have to create the application. So I'm naming this application as Sudhanshu N8N. Okay, so let's name our app this and for the avatar URL I'm going to copy I'm going to copy paste this and for this I'm going to add this is a test application okay now we just have to scroll down no need to do anything but for the functionality let us just check this join spaces and group conversation now the main part of actually making it a work is the thing of connection setting we have to check in the app script option in the connection setting and here we just need to pass the deployment ID. So now let's jump on to the very like few of the last steps, second last step to make this thing happen. So in order to create the connection setting is using the app script. So we now have to go back to, we have to create an app script and just paste and get the deployment ID that we can paste over here. So for that, you can just simply go to script.google.com and over here, you have to go to the getting started option and there you'll see this Google chat app thing. Now you'll have to click on this. First of all, let me just rename this Google chat app. Let's rename this. Simple. We have not done anything typical. So simply this is the ready-made chat app code which is provided by Google itself. So we have to deploy it. But before deploying it to get the deployment ID, I need to do one more thing. I have to go to project setting over here. You have to click on project setting and we'll do, we have to make sure that this particular script is in the same project that we are working on, like this Google chat project. So we, I need to go to this Google. First of all, let us go to the home page of this. Okay, because if you'll see over here that if I click on the change project, it is asking for the GCP project number. So what I have to do is I'm going to select the same project which I am in. I mean to say we have to choose the same project where we have enabled the Google Chat API. So I have to copy this project number. I'll copy this, go over here, paste the number over here and set the project. Okay, one second. So let us just 
quickly add the auth also auth client id because it is saying that in order to add the project number we need auth consent details so not a problem we can just configure the consent screen get started app name we can just say and and test app support email should be my work email and it should be external as of now not a problem let us just make it internal only and over here also i'm going to add my email one second okay so this is my email go to next content create so once we have created our, our credentials i'm doing all everything from start and fresh so that we everything everyone just got to know about the things that we are going to make so for choose this i will make it web application yeah and just create okay now we have the client id in the secret so you get the point that we have make it happen so let us see if we are able to do this now so now you know successfully i have created the client id and everything so now it is able to change the project so this is simple so now last step is to go and click on this deploy button new deployment and let us deploy this app google chat app and one second one second what is this yeah we have to simply go over here create a deployment name it google chat app and i'll simply deploy this once i click on deploy within few seconds it is going to give me the deployment id come back to the google cloud and over here just input this deployment id now we don't need to do anything else but over here you can see this visibility option i don't want to show other people because it is for testing so i'm going to add my email over here okay and now let us just simply save this now just see over here if i'll go back now you can see that error fetching options from google chat it is showing us this option so first of all we have to just resolve this error right so i think it is solved now it is saved yeah configuration is saved so now let us come back to anytime and i will just switch back to credentials and choose back it so now you'll see that that particular error go like fetching the credentials it is gone now what error you are getting is that over here we need to select the space name or the id but it is saying that no data over here so why it is because we because my account is totally fresh and new and i haven't created any space so i need to create one so i am coming to the ditch interface so i will create this is like you have to go chat.google.com open up this interface and and now we have to create a space so now let me just create a space call and let us just create this space okay now let us see if we are able to see the space now so let me just again refresh the credential it is getting things but you are also seeing that now still we are not able to see the space so now let's solve this thing we have created the space but we haven't added that particular app that we have created over here to this space so that's why it is not able to show this so what we have to do is we have to first of all select the space and click on this and search for the name of the app so i have to check the name of my app that i have added so you can see the app name is sudhanshu anytime i'm going to search for this only go to the tools find app and i must need yeah so then show anytime this is an application and now i have to add this to my space add app and send so the moment i'm going to add this thing i'll get the message and now comes the fun part we'll go back to anytime we have again refresh the credential and now you are able to see the space so now it is working fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to send a message from anytime here is the test message from anytime and i will execute this step and now i'm going to get the same message over here so that's it that's it about this video and i hope that i clear all of those things and now you'll able to access the google chat api node in anytime so now let us quickly summarize everything that we have, we have done so far it's not if we have simply just added the node to anytime we set up the google cloud console project it simply create the project then add the service account set up the credentials pack we'll see the error we have to resolve that error so in order to resolving the error we have to configure the google chat api in order to configure it we have to create the chat application so in order to create the chat application we went to google app script created the one set the same deployment id and the rest of the things you already know my friend so 
that's it about this video i hope i made all things clear thank you very much signing off